Okay. Let me start over. Okay. No treat, remember. Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, town manager. You're watching Visitor Network TV. Welcome to what's going on in town government. For our visitors, we have a very active town government, and hopefully we're all working behind the scenes to make your stay very enjoyable. And for our residents, hopefully you already know we have a very active town government, and we're making, trying to make your island um, very enjoyable to live. So at our selectmen's meeting this week, the selectmen did a... Um, not, a, not a totally new thing, but something that previous boards have tried. And they had a workshop meeting this week. All, all that means really is that they more discuss things than act on things. And they limited the topics to three items so that they would have plenty of time to discuss them. We met in a different room, the, the training room of, it's called, of the community, the public safety facility at Fort Fairgrounds Road. And they talked about uh, long-term municipal space needs, long-term capital planning and financing, and Baxter Road, which for people who don't know is a road that runs along Sconset Bluff, and there is a section of it that is very, very close to the bluff, so very soon now we are going to have to decide what to do about that road. Are we going to relocate it? Are we going to try for some erosion control measures? What are we going to do? So a, a lot of that was discussed last night, and I think the board will talk about this again um, sometime very shortly. So that, that was our topic. So the meeting lasted no, almost two hours, just about. I think they had some really good discussion. And I on, think we're going to try what? it again on those three topics that oh, I just mentioned. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to try it again in July. Next week's board meeting is a biggie. We are having an update from the Army Corps of Engineers. They are doing a project in Tom Nevers, which is a formerly used defense site, a FUDS site. Formerly used defense, that's what they call it, FUDS. And the idea is to identify all um, unexploded ordnance that might be left there from when the Tom Nevers area was used as a training site. And this is a very lengthy project. And anyway, we're getting an update from the Army Corps. They, th that was when they had the helicopters that flew close to the ground and they mapped everything? That was part of the project, mm -hmm. yes, to identify the ordinance. Also, we have a great announcement for, next, for our next board meeting. Effective June 25th, the Human Services Department will offer passport services by appointment only. We've gotten our Human Services personnel certified in handling passport applications. So you will Ooh. not have to necessarily go off island for your passport, which was something that would have happened if we hadn't come into things, probably. In any case, Tuesdays and Thursdays, it looks like, from 2 to 4 at the Saltmire Senior Center, effective June 25th, again, will be when you can start going to talk about your passport application. Caution. Every, you should go online and or get the passport application in advance and look at everything you need for it. Don't try to go in with incomplete information like, oh, you know me, don't you? I don't need my husband here. You do. You need to do it exactly as written. Okay, so bear that in mind. And don't try to go like with some stuff you think you might need for the application. You need to go with the stuff that you do need for the application. I, I speak from experience on this. Um, we have a bunch of pending contracts, including the hum Health and Human Services contracts so that were approved at town meeting this year. Those are for the various nonprofits that provide different levels of health and human services to the community. A um, couple license issues. We have a couple of resignations. We are hopefully getting a little bit of a presentation from our Agricultural Commission. A couple of property things. The Planning Commission transportation planner is presenting the TIP program for fiscal 13 through 16. I wonder if that's supposed to be 14 through 17. I'm going to circle that. To the board. This is an annual presentation. TIP means transportation improvement program and it mostly relates to bike paths and things like that. We have a bunch of public hearings. A couple of telephone petitions. We call them telephone petitions. They're not always telephone related to telephone, sometimes it's electric. They general, generally relate to things like t moving, relocating telephone poles or installing underground conduit or something like that that requires town approval. We have several 
license related public hearings, common victualler, entertainment, mobile food, um, one liquor thing. We are doing our end of year budget transfers. Traffic safety work group. This is an administrative work group that looks at traffic safety issues. And they were asked a while ago to look at our bus size per street chart, which basically is a chart that identifies what streets buses of a certain length are allowed to travel on. And RTA buses, by the way, the wave buses are excluded from this whole thing. However, tour vans and tour buses are not excluded. So we had a situation where um, a tour van operator began to use a bus that was beyond the length. And they asked if the board could reconsider what the bus size is. Oh. So anyway, they're going to be reconsidering that. Or I shouldn't say they are going to be reconsidering it. They're going to be discussing it to see if they want to reconsider well, it. Well, the only one that I think of is the, that giant bus. That, that, well, there's that, but there's also the vans that are kind of bigger than vans, mm -hmm. you know? Kind of All mini, right. well, mini what's buses, the sort of. With them? Well, I don't, the problem is that I don't remember what the dimensions are, of, of, but if you exceed the dimensions that are allowed on certain streets, you're not supposed to go on those streets. Oh. And some people have their tours on those streets, but now their bus is bigger than the regulations. Mm -hmm. We also have two other traffic safety recommendations. I sense some controversy coming. Ooh. And I must admit, I initially was someone who said, oh, that's a dumb idea. But now I, I'm, re I'm rethinking that. I don't think it's as dumb as it. All right. It doesn't sound. What is it? OK. Stop sign installations. I hate even, it's like a third rail to say a new stop sign. Um, stop sign at, OK, Orange Street at Union. So this is right, if you're heading out of town on Orange, right before Cumberland Farms, old Cumberland Farms. They're going to put a stop sign? Well, there's a recommendation. I'm not saying we're doing it. It's a recommendation. Now, think of yourself in your car on Union Street, and you have to stop at that stop sign. People come barreling down Orange Street, if you think about it. And often, there's a little bit of a sight um, issue. You can't always see them. I mean, I have cut off cars well, wait a, minute. a few times. You initially thought it was a bad idea. I did, but now that I've... Thought I think about it's it. a bad idea. Well, but that's an issue. I give you a, some. I right. ask you to do this All when right. you're on Union Street. Next, stop at that stop. Think about what it. If you think it would be better to have a stop sign on or, on Orange. The other one would be at um, Washington Street at Francis. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna we're gonna have a discussion about it. If Keep you if moving. you well, here's the thing. Um, if you look at uniform traffic regulations and traffic codes and things like that, it's very unusual to have these particular setups that we have. Now we're used to it, and it's a Nantucket thing, I know, but they're not really normal. Anyway, I. So yeah. try to have an open mind. More, more discussion next week. I know I am certain that if Nat Lowell is watching this, he is like screaming by now. Right. Calm down, Nat. Just calm. Well, didn't we bring him up last week too? We did. Yeah. We bring him up a lot. He's influential around here. <laughs> I get a lot of advice from Nat. Very good he's advice. Full of, he's full of gas, that guy. He's got ha ha ha. Because he works for a gas company. Um, okay, the other thing we're doing next week is I'm giving the board a town administration activities update. That'll be, you will not want to miss that. The board has, is going to be hearing, I think, this is, I think this might be slightly tentative, hearing from the Harbor Plan Implementation Committee as to their final report. I think they're about to be disbanded voluntarily. Um, we're also going to be revisiting a resolution that was proposed to the board regarding the local gray seal population and asking federal agencies to do some research on that population. Um, right. And that is it for our agenda for next week. So there's lots of stuff going on. I heard, if we can trust the weather forecasting, that it's going to be a great weekend. 
not today, Thursday, right. and maybe not tomorrow, but hopefully Saturday and Sunday. Going to be great. Oh, I can't believe I forgot this. The Hummock Pond Bike Path Ribbon Cutting ceremony is taking place this Saturday, June 15th at noon, intersection of Hummock Pond Road and Bartlett Farm Road. There's a field there. There will be a picnic. There will be the ribbon cutting. There will be helmet giveaway, bike path things. There will be a couple of speakers, brief. We're going to keep it brief with a lot of thanks to all the people that can participated in the, in the development of this project. So that is very exciting. The picnic is going to have hamburgers and hot dogs, drinks. It's going to be really great. So ride your bike out, too. Good idea. I'm planning Definitely. on riding my bike we'll out. We'll be there. If it, it's going to be a beautiful day. It is supposed to be a beautiful day. Right. The clean team this week oh. is, I believe, at Fairgrounds and Old South. So I think you park near the Rotary area. And in and out, one hour, eight to nine. That's it. They provide bags. They provide gloves. Um, and it's a really good deed for Nantica. And Old South Road bike path, Fairgrounds maybe, too, but Old South, there is a heck of a lot of trash on that bike path and it is disgusting. So people, A, sh we, we wouldn't, obviously we wouldn't have to do this if they stopped littering their gross trash everywhere. Yeah. But it's a really good thing to help clean up your island. So that's where they are this week. They're also always downtown in the summer on Saturdays in the Grand Union parking lot. Right in the, f in the first aisle as you come in, right on the left, there's usually um, someone there, Peggy Trampas. She's an incredibly dedicated volunteer. And she's got bags and gloves too and you, she sends you out downtown to well, clean up. To yes. So, okay. any, you got any questions? Are we doing that other thing or? Okay. Some, yeah. Sometimes we have a little pop-up item, but we're not going to do that today. We'll save that little surprise for another time. Yeah. Um, okay. Thanks very much. See you next time.